But what we're going to do work with right now is something we call soil blocks, which we use an awful lot on the farm because the farm is producing a lot of plants all the time that are going right out into the fields. Um, and while we like these pieces of plastic containers because they're efficient and light, we are always trying to reduce the amount of plastic we use on the farm. So we'll show you a little device here. This is called a soil block maker. Um, so what we're going to do is start with looking at this same potting mix that we used for the other flowers for transplanting. You can see we've gotten it really wet. It's totally saturated. In fact, I can squeeze some water out of it. The blocks, to me, are a lot like brownies. We want the consistency of the material to be a lot like a, a kind of soft baking brownie material before we get going. So once it's moist enough, you'll see why that's important. So we take our block maker, which kind of looks like an ice cube tray, and there's little divots on the inside, and there's a plunger on the top. When we lift it up, you can see that the soil's all full on the bottom. What we'll do is kind of shave that surface off so it's nice and level. And the soil is all packed inside these small squares. And now that that's on here, we give it a little bit of a squeeze, pop it out, and we have our soil blocks. So the benefit of a soil block like this is really, A, it uses far less plastic. Um, and also, this is one whole section it actually allows us to have individual squares. In this case, this is a 35 block maker. When the seedlings are growing, they can share their roots. So the roots can grow into each other's containers and that sort of thing, into each other's sections, um, and really have more of a, a communal living space, really. From here, we're gonna drop some seeds in here and see how that goes. Right now, we're gonna seed some Genovese basil into these soil blocks. This is just the right size for these blocks. The Genovese basil is uh, a little slow to germinate. It'll take a minute. This is probably all the seed we're going to use today. And it will give us probably quarts and quarts and quarts of pesto. Always make sure that the seed packet itself stays in a nice dry spot while you're seeding. Because the seed is so small, we're just gonna pepper in the hole. So it's okay to drop more than one seed in there. If it goes more than four or five, it's probably too many. So I think dropping two to three per hole gives you the kind of assurance that you'll get at least one, if not all of them, to come up in that little spot. So what we're gonna do is date and name what this is, when it was seeded and put it in the block. And this is basil. Genovese. And that's it. That'll give us 35 beautiful Genovese basil, green Italian pesto style basil. Reach out to us at kfp at stonebarnscenter.org.